Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best fabric RPG mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1 and these are going to be the best RPG fabric mods that we can use right now. At the moment we have loads of different mods for fabric on version 1.18.1 and we also have loads of RPG based mods on fabric on 1.18.1 but these mods are going to be my personal top 5 best fabric RPG RPG mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1. Alright, so the first mod that we are going to check out today is the Advanced Compass mod. As you guys can see on the top side of my screen there, we have this cool looking compass that does give it that RPG type look as well. And it shows you what kind of mobs are around you and what kind of NPCs are around you as well. And when you get closer to them, it does actually change the distance. It also shows a head icon as you guys can see over here. I do like this compass ribbon style of navigation. You can obviously use it to go north, east, west and south. As you guys can see, it does actually show you the directions there, but at the same time, we can use it to see what kind of mobs or NPCs are around us. You can also go ahead and configure this mod by going into the mod section from the main menu and you do need mod menu installed to do this. So just go into mods, make sure that you are clicked on the advanced compass mod like so, and then click on the configure button on the top right. And you can actually go ahead and change different options for this mod. One of them being the compass width, compass height, and the icon scale and the coordinate scale as well. You can also choose to show the coordinates as well. You can also turn off this mod by using this button over here, as well as what kind of entities you want the mod to show. As you guys can see, it is actually showing everything on the list there. So if you guys haven't already checked this out, do check out this mod. This is a really cool mod. It's called Advanced Compass, and it really does give you the RPG style of a gameplay. The next mod that I would actually recommend, it comes in two separate mods and these are the Minecraft Dungeons Armor and Minecraft Dungeons Weapons mods. So if we go into our menu, if I press E and we click on the next page, so by default it's going to be on this page and if you are in creative mode you can actually go ahead and check out all of these cool weapons and armor. Just click on this icon to go into the next page and then you will be able to select MC Dungeons Armors and the MC Dungeons weapons as well. You can select between the melee weapons and the ranged weapons as well as the shields as well. There are only two shields but we have loads of different bows and crossbows as well as loads of different melee weapons as you guys can see. We also have some nice animated weapons here and some unique style of weapons as well. Let's go ahead and check out some of these weapons to see what they look like in our game. As you guys can see this weapon is animated and it looks really nice. This one is called the mechanized saw blade and then we have another weapon here called the chill gale knife and this one is the frost scythe and Nightmare's Bite. This one is called the Stormlander. I do like this weapon. It does look quite cool when you are in first person mode. This weapon really does look like it could do some nice damage. As you guys can see, it looks like a heavy mace in our hands there. I also do like the look of this Frost Scythe. Well, I think it does actually look much better in the third person view. You can also go ahead and select the different armors and weapons from this mod. So if you guys already haven't done so, I would highly recommend that you guys check out the Minecraft Dungeons weapons and armors mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18 and it will give us that cool RPG type feeling once we have equipped all of these cool weapons and armors in our game. The next mod I would recommend to check out to give you the RPG feeling is the Waystones mod and the way it works is you can actually find these Waystones in the villages and scattered all around the world and you can just approach them and just right click on them and then you can tick this box here to activate the waystone. Let's go ahead and create another waystone so we can actually have a look at how the waystones work. So let's search for waystone over here. Let's get a basic waystone and place it somewhere far away from the one we just activated. And let's check out how the teleport section works for that. So I've placed one here, right click on this waystone and I can actually teleport to the other waystone that we just activated. So as you guys can see, this one is closer to the village and I can go ahead and do the same thing again and go to the waystone that is further away from the village. So as you guys can see, we can teleport 
teleport in between these waystones. This is similar to the Zero's minimap teleport function and if I press M on my keyboard you guys can see that I am able to use Zero's world map alongside the waystones and the advanced compass mod as well which is really cool so I would highly recommend you guys try out this combination of using the waystones, advanced compass and the Zero's world map as well. The next RPG fabric mod I would recommend you guys check out is called RPGZ or RPGs if you want to call it that and the way it works is if you attack a mob by default it's not going to show you the items which it normally drops so in the default Minecraft game once you kill a mob it actually shows you the item but with the RPG Z mod you can actually just right click on the mob and select if you want to take that item or not and then the mob will disappear so let's go ahead and try it on another mob let's try it on one of these sheep over here and let's kill that sheep and as you guys can see it hasn't disappeared and the item is not showing I would actually have to right click on that mob and I can then select the item if I want to take that item or not so some of you might like this option and some of you might not like this option but I think it really does make the game feel more like an RPG so we can see the body there and we can right click on it and choose the item that it would have dropped so if you guys are looking for a nice RPG type feeling mod, then I would recommend you get the RPG Z mod. We can actually go into the options here and have a look at the RPG Z mod. And as you guys can see, it says RPG style looting. We are also able to configure some options for this mod by using mod menu and then going into the configure side of this mod. The final RPG fabric mod I would recommend for Minecraft 1.18.1 is actually the Origins mod. So let's go ahead and create a new game. And once you create a new game, it actually lets you choose different origins, which are sort of like different races that you can play as. So let's just wait for the game to now load up. All right, so once the game does load up, you are able to choose your origin. By default, I can play as a human, avian, arachnid, elytrian, shulk, feline, and darian. Merling, Blazeborn, Phantom, and you can select random as well. If you do go ahead and choose the Blazeborn, for example, you will actually spawn in the nether. So let's take a look. So as you guys can see, I've just selected the Blazeborn race there, the Blazeborn origin, and I have actually spawned in the nether. And my advanced compass there on the top there is actually showing all of these enemies around me. So it's a really cool mod. You guys can go ahead and check this mod out and play as different origins and see where the game will take you. It does give you a nice RPG type experience. You can also get different add-ons for this mod, which not only adds different origins, but also adds classes to it. And you can get all of them from the Curse Forge website. And I will leave some information in the description below. Let's go ahead and select another origin. Let's select the Arachnid origin and see how that works. Some of these origins do get special abilities and you can press G on your keyboard to activate their special ability. All right, so as you guys can see, there is this big bird tower here, which I've just created. I've pressed G on my keyboard and the arachnid ability has been disabled. So if I just look up here, I can't actually climb this. Now I'm gonna press G again, and now I can actually climb all the way to the top. So as you guys can see, I am climbing this and it does look a bit funny when you look at it in third person view. However, if you look at it in first person view, it does actually make more sense and feels like you are climbing this massive tower as you guys can see. So if you guys are looking to play with different types of origins and classes, then I would highly recommend you guys check out the origins mod. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful and hopefully you will enjoy these fabric RPG mods for Minecraft version 1.18.1. Do let me know what you guys think about this mod and what kind of RPG mods that you like to play with and would you guys check out these RPG mods for your Minecraft game. If you did like the video, do give it a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.